so one more veil technique that I wanted to show you. Uh, I like to call the corkscrew, and I, I don't honestly know if I learned this from somebody else or if I invented it myself one day just noodling around with a veil. Uh, I did have um, a, a fellow dancer one time during one of my performances, well, after the performance came up to me, and she said, what was that move? And I didn't know what she was talking about. She said it was like this corkscrew-looking thing. So I call this a corkscrew. Um, if somebody else is familiar with this move and it has an official name, please comment and let me know because I, I feel like I might have made this one up on my own, but it's likely that I learned it and just forgot where I learned it, okay? So this one is really interesting because it's good for changing direction. It feels a little bit uh, like an around the world. The, the arms are doing a sort of around the world motion, but we're pivoting in the feet at the same time. So what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be bringing this hand overhead at the same time that I'm stepping with the opposite foot going forward. The foot work, basically, is going, I'm trying to back up here, it's going forward and turn. That's all that's going on in the feet. Step, step back, turn. We're going to be taking the veil, though, overhead and stirring the cauldron and that stepping back is happening underneath our arm as we're bringing that second arm overhead. What this does is it creates like a little a little gateway for us to walk through in that arm. So I'm going to take opposite foot stepping forward, this, this foot, and this arm is going overhead and down. Step forward back and turn. I'll show you again. Forward, back, turn under your arm and walk away. So what this looks like in action is this lovely, quick, corkscrewy looking thing and it's just done around the world, but we're pivoting, kind of stepping through it at the same time. So it's a, it's a unique move. It looks super dramatic on stage. And it's actually, once you break down the mechanics of it, it's actually really, really simple and straightforward. It just feels a little counterintuitive because we're stepping with the opposite foot than you would normally think we would step with. One, two, three, and stepping out of it. Let me show you what this looks like from the back. This arm is coming overhead. This foot is stepping forward. Forward and back and. Things lose so much magic from behind, don't they? Step, back, turn. If I speed it up then, boom, boom, boom. It's a great way to change direction. Looks really fancy. And uh, it's literally just moving your feet in a certain way so that it, it looks fancier than it actually is. All right, everyone, I hope that uh, this series has been useful for you. Um, if there are any other veil moves you would like for me to break down or demonstrate for you, I would be happy to do so. Talk to you soon. Bye.